Stellaris has been getting more frequent updates and DLCs than it used to. For many, that's great news, but for modded Stellaris players, it means having to wait for mod updates and ending your playthrough. In this short video, I will show you a way to create a backup of your mods so that you can finish your playthroughs without worrying about upcoming updates. Firstly, we have to roll back to the latest version of Stellaris. Click the Manage icon over here and then go to Properties and click on the beta tab and over here there's going to be a list of all possible versions of Stellaris that we can roll back to. As I'm recording this video the Grand Archive DLC has not been released yet so that's the earliest possible version I can roll back to but for now um, we're gonna choose this version over here and um, Stellaris is going to update and you're gonna see you have the selected version over here. Now that we have rolled back to the latest version of Stellaris, we're gonna have to download a tool called Irony Mod Manager. This is basically an advanced mod manager for Stellaris and other Paradox Interactive games. The link will be available in the description of this video. You can also find it on the Stellaris Modding Den on the Irony Mod Manager channel. So now we have the latest stable version over here, we're gonna click this and this takes us uh, to the GitHub. So as you can see here, we have different download options over here, depending on your OS. Because I am on Windows, I'm gonna download uh, this file over here. Um, so basically from that moment, uh, follow the instructions mentioned here. So as you can see, I have unpacked the zip file. This is the portable version. You can also download the installer version. So the installation process may be a bit different for you. Once you have successfully launched Irony Mod Manager, you can see you have all of your uh, installed mods over here. Now we're gonna have to create a new collection. So let's say we're gonna uh, name it like this. There we go. Basically, you have to choose um, all of the mods you wish to create a backup for. So let's uh, pick some mods over here. Keep in mind that if you have, if you're creating some kind of a mod pack, then obviously you have to make sure that the mod load order is correct so that you don't have any crashes or any incompatibilities. You can watch my video about uh, sorting your mods if you're interested in that. So we have our collection of mods over here. So the last thing we have to do is uh, click the merge button. We have two options, basic and compress. Compress uh, merges each mod individually and creates a backup for each of them. Basic uh, merges all of these mods together and creates a single file. I personally use compress, so we are going to pick that option. And now Irony is merging your mods, so you have to wait a little bit. Obviously, if you have more mods, it's going to take a bit longer. After the merge is complete, you're gonna see this prefix over here, Merged Backup, because that's obviously the name of my collection. All of the chosen mods are stored locally, meaning that uh, they won't get any updates from the workshop. So now all you have to do is uh, press Apply. And now you can either launch uh, Stellaris from uh, the manager or use the Stellaris launcher like you normally would. And in the Stellaris launcher, a new set will be created called Irony Mod Manager. This is basically where your uh, collection is going to be stored. So you have to keep this uh, set in order, in order for this to work. And now you can simply press play and that's basically it. I hope you found uh, this tutorial useful. If you did, make sure to share it, uh, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel so you don't miss any mod related videos. You can also leave a one-time donation using the link in the description if you want to support this channel. I will see you in another video and goodbye.